Hello friends and welcome to another magical day in my vegan test kitchen. My name is Marista and I am your host. I realize I haven't actually been introducing myself these past few episodes. So hello, nice to meet you. My name is Marista. If you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. That way you can know when I post new videos and you can know when the videos that you recommend are up and give this video a like if you liked it. And from September to November, we're gonna have just a delicious, fun, extra special set of videos. Fall is my favorite season. I love fall, I love Halloween, spooky season. I was born in fall, I just love it. When I was in Ohio, the weather was cooler and that sort of thing, and it's just awesome. It's one of my favorite things. So for these next three months, I am going to be theming all of my recipes for spooky times and Halloween and fall in general. I thought it would be best to start off the celebration with a bang by celebrating Hogwarts Day. If you don't know what that is, it's the first day of school at Hogwarts, September 1st at 11 p.m. exactly. The Hogwarts Express leaves and takes its students to Hogwarts. I am obsessed with Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter. I grew up with it. It is my life to the point that I've got three tattoos and I even took a special trip to London to go see Harry drop off his kids for their... Um, for the year at Hogwarts in the epilogue of the last book and I was there it was great I saw Warwick Davis who is Professor Flitwick fantastic I loved it so to make a long story short I decided we should celebrate Hogwarts Day and Harry Potter by making our headmaster's favorite candy lemon drops Dumbledore has a thing for mobile sweets and things like that and lemon drops it has been said in the books and I think they even mention it in the movie at one point but the lemon drops are like his favorite candy and he loves eating them he just it's great so we're gonna make lemon drops these can either be candies that you suck on for enjoyment you know you're trying to cut down on sugar and you want something sweet to eat lemon drop is perfect I personally love citrus and lemon flavors so this is gonna be great the nice thing about this recipe is that it requires very little ingredients and I actually have a physical copy for this week's recipe I've got the unofficial Harry Potter cookbook and I'm on the lemon drops page as you can see it's pretty easy to make these vegan there's nothing really crazy in it that we need to omit or transfer so this is going to be pretty much a direct recipe and without further ado let's get in to our ingredients tour like I said, our ingredients are gonna be pretty simple and we don't need a lot. We're going to need water, sugar, light corn syrup, cream of tartare, and lemon extract. Because I really like lemon flavor and I want it to be a strong natural lemon flavor, I'm also going to be adding lemon juice into my lemon drops as well, just to make sure that they're extra tart and lemony just the way I like them. Another thing you're going to need for this recipe is a thermometer because our candy has to reach 300 degrees before we take it off from the heat and start to put it into our molds or you can freeform drop it onto a piece of parchment paper or a silicone mat or something like that. Making these lemon drops are pretty fast and very easy. It's one of my favorite things. If you hadn't noticed, I try and do recipes that are pretty quick and pretty easy to make. This one doesn't require a lot of ingredients, which is one of the keys to its success. I'm gonna make sure I start with a very clean pan because I don't want any dirt or debris getting in my sugar. You're gonna be able to see it because this is a mostly clear candy and also you're gonna be able to taste it. Nobody wants extras in their candy. After I make sure it's clean and ready to go, I'm going to put everything except for my lemon extract and my lemon juice into the pan and turn it on medium heat. This isn't like caramel, you're not just going to let it sit and do its own thing. You're going to stir it around until it starts to bubble and your sugar starts to dissolve. Make sure that if you do use parchment paper, it's well oiled with like some non-stick spray or something like that or else your candy will stick to your paper and then you'll have paper in your mouth. When one tip that the recipe in the book gives is if you've got crystals of sugar forming around the rim of your pan, dip a brush, 
like a silicone brush, not one with hairs on it because the hairs could get into your sugar, but dip a brush into some water and scrape it around the sides to get the sugar crystals off so that they won't crystallize in your candy. Once your candy has reached 300 degrees, you're gonna turn it off the heat and add your lemon extract and your lemon juice into it. I add a lot because I love lemon flavor. If you're setting your candy to harden on a baking tray or a silicone mat that's been sprayed down with oil, you're also going to want to oil a spoon and scoop out the syrup and use that to create your freeform shapes. I, however, am using this silicone flour mold that I got at Joann's and I thought it would be really cute. Oiling your spoon is going to make sure that you have the least resistance and the least amount of candy sticking onto your spoon and your work surface and it'll be easier for cleanup later too. Now it's just time to wait for them to set and rest and harden. When your candies do harden, I'm sure you'll want to keep them. You're not going to eat them all at once. The best thing you can do is take some parchment paper and sandwich them between layers of parchment paper so that they're not touching because the moisture in the air could cause them to stick together and you don't want that to happen. You just want to be able to peel and pop it in your mouth as you please. Okay everybody, moment of truth. It's time to taste my lemon drop. That piece was way huge. I would suggest be uh, smarter than I did and make them thinner. Not only will they set faster, but also they're not gonna be a whole mouthful of sticky chewiness that's gonna get all over your teeth. Um, Thinness is key here. You want just the right amount of lemon drop going in your mouth. Other than my lemon drop being too thick, I don't think that the recipe calls for enough lemon. And I added extra lemon into the recipe to try and boost the lemon flavor. So I would suggest putting a lot of lemon flavor in there. Put a lot of lemon juice in there and like a tablespoon of lemon extract. Put a lot of lemon juice in there, like a quarter cup because what I got from the recipe, it's just not saying lemon to me. It's a sweet candy, and it'll be nice to put in my tea, that sort of thing, but it's not a lemon drop, which is what I was hoping for. I wanted it to be like lemony and make my mouth pucker and all this other stuff. So I would suggest adding on to the recipe some extra lemon juice and some extra lemon extract. Thank you once again for joining me for this video. I'm glad you stuck around to the end to see the result of what we got. If you try this recipe, please tag me on social media. You can find me on Instagram at MyVeganTK, on Twitter at MyVeganTK, on Facebook at MyVeganTK. You get the drift. You can find me everywhere at MyVeganTK, so check me out. And also check out my Ko-Fi, it's where I post exclusive photos and videos that you're not going to be able to find anywhere else, in addition to blog posts with different recipes that I come up with and things like that. So to see what I'm all about, head over to Ko-Fi and check it out and donate if you can to the kitchen to help improve what we're doing here and just make the best vegan food ever. Please join me next week as we continue our fall and spooky themed treats. I'm going to be doing some cookie decoration and I might have a bonus video coming up on Ko-Fi, so look out for that. For now, that's all. I'll post my finished cake pictures up on Instagram. You can check them out there and have a magical, magical, wonderful week, my vegan adventurers, and enjoy life and enjoy your sweets. Now, I've got to disapparate. Surprise, I am back because I wanted to show you how the candies turned out after I unmolded them. I took them out of the mold, set them aside so I could just grab them later when I wanted to and that they wouldn't be in the mold the whole time. But when I went back to eat them, this is what happened. My candy did not hold up, it didn't hold its shape up. I'm not sure why which means I'm definitely going to return to these candies in the future and try making them again because unacceptable. So I just wanted to let you know what they looked like and what happened and yeah, we're gonna have to make these again, friends.